Welcome to this special broadcast. Now today we are being joined by George Papanastasiu, Minister of Energy, Commerce and Industry of Cyprus. Pleasure having you on this broadcast, sir. Good afternoon uh, from Adipeg in Abu Dhabi. Right. So, um, George, just tell me now the ongoing tensions in West Asia. Like, how concerned is the energy industry about supply chain stability? Like, how they are so much uh, into it? Yes, any any instability, irrespective of uh, the region, you understand that they may create a lot of instability. And indeed, uh, we have uh, uh, two geographies. They are in uh, serious in instability at this point in time. Um, one is very close to, to Europe, um, on the no in the north of uh, Europe, the other one a little bit east of Europe. It so happens that I'm coming from Cyprus, I'm the Minister of uh, Energy of the Republic of Cyprus. You understand it's uh, the proximity of this uh, second uh, uh, instability, it creates a lot of uncertainty in the neighbourhood. And not only that, simply because it's, it is very close to the Middle East, and uh, the Middle East is, um, uh, is very much uh, connected uh, to oil and gas and such instabilities, they may create uncertainty in the prices of, uh, of these uh, products or any products that they relate uh, to, uh, to, to fossil fuels. Um, and um, if uh, the fossil, fuels, uh, pr fossil fuel prices are impacted, you understand that all energy prices, they are impacted irrespective if the source is different. Right. So, um, given current oil price volatility, like what role does Adipic play in guiding market expectations and industry decisions? Certainly, Adipic um, brings the industry together. And um, uh, what we have seen so far in Adipic is uh, uh, different uh, industries, but also governments, they are coming together in order to discuss the way forward. And um, it is a matter of collaboration and the target and the destination is to have uh, to get uh, to the consumer affordable energy, sustainable energy and um, certainly governments, they are uh, responsible for uh, placing the frameworks, the industry places the solutions in technologies and uh, there are many different technologies that they can be implemented in order to reach the targets. And the targets are, as we said, affordable energy, sustainable energy. At the end of the day, you understand that uh, much of uh, energy goes to the households, uh, it goes to the industry, industry relates to the economies of the different regions, and you understand that the energy plays a big role in keeping stability in the, in the different uh, geographies in the different regions. Uh, with the U.S. elections on the horizon, like how could a change in leadership impact global energy markets? Uh, of course, uh, you understand the energy very much relates to policies and strategies and uh, the change of leaderships in the, the, the different regions, uh, especially if there is a, a change of strategy and the energy diversification very much depends on these uh, policies that they are coming from, uh, from the different leaders. Uh, you understand that uh, when it comes to uh, leaders uh, that uh, they link uh, to, um, to major industries or major countries that they can shift uh, the decision making and the global decision making, you understand that it's very important to see what these strategies and how these strategies and these policies they may change in order to affect uh, uh, energy and uh, as a consequence uh, the economies of the different uh, uh, regions. Right. Um, what are the key investment uh, investment trends that you anticipate across the energy sector this year and the next? I believe that um, the global north uh, is moving towards uh, green. Uh, they are in a transition period towards green. Um, there is lots of uh, effort and uh, different technologies are being used in order to deliver energy efficiency by at the same time shifting it uh, energy production in, uh, from uh, renewables. Uh, however, you know that uh, technology may not be there uh, to deliver, uh, the, the ma to maximize the efficiency of energy. So um, we believe that, uh, I believe that uh, the next um, 
uh, discussion uh, of governments and uh, industry will be how we can improve on technology in order to support um, a more efficient uh, uh, use of renewable energy. Right. Thank you so much for joining with Vion today and sharing your insights on this. Thank you very much for accommodating me.